News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. A bit of a snowy morning commute for some of us. Some light snow showers worked through the Susquehanna Valley, and uh, for the most part, most of that is actually down to our south at this time. Looking at our current temperatures, mid 30s already. Yeah, we're seeing that little bit of sunshine trying to peek through, helping to boost these temperatures up, but it's just going to be pretty short lived. These will start to feel mild as we go into tomorrow morning, certainly. Seeing 28 degrees in Lewistown right now, 33 in Sealands Grove, and actually up to the north, that's where we still do have a few snow showers. They were some squalls, so some heavier snow showers. Up near around State College and Interstate 80, but they have weakened as they've moved into the northern counties here in the Susquehanna Valley, around the Sealands Grove area, up towards Lewisbury. Some light to moderate snow at this time, and these are generally weakening as they're moving down to the southeast, and they're in response to some upper level energy, which still has to swing through the region. Here's the cold front. It's actually down to our south and east at this time. Colder northwesterly winds starting to move into the region. You probably noticed the breeze picking up here in the last couple of hours, and those winds will continue to increase here in the the News 8 Storm Team forecast. Lebanon here in the background, and by this evening, we'll see those winds gusting perhaps over 35 miles per hour. And we could see a few snow showers here and there, dusting if you do see one of those snow showers. And again, the winds increasing. Into tonight, skies turning mainly clear, but those temperatures continue to fall. Lows fall to around 10 degrees, with wind chills about 10 to 20 degrees lower than the actual air temperature. Negative numbers certainly possible. And then heading into tomorrow, a sunny and cold day for us, but those single digit wind chills will make it feel quite uncomfortable. Highs around 20 degrees. Degrees and those winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. This morning, taking the clock back on our Lancaster sky cam, you saw the snow showers they moved in. Gave us a little bit of a coating on some of those rooftops, but the coating went away. Temperatures way too warm to be uh, seeing that snow hanging around. 36 degrees here in the Red Rose City. It feels a little cooler than that when we talk about some of that wind chill. We have these winds starting to pick up here. Sustained winds you see between 10 and 20 miles per hour out of the northwest. And that's going to make these wind chills really start to tank pretty uh, quickly here through the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, we're waking up to wind chills between 10, minus 10 and minus 15 degrees. And uh, by the time we hit tomorrow afternoon, they're back up into single digits. So a little bit of a relief there, but still very cold if you're going out tomorrow evening. And because of the fact that we could see wind chills below minus 15, the National Weather Service has issued wind chill advisories. For their, basically our northern counties and over towards Franklin County, and that goes really until noon tomorrow afternoon. We'll start to see those being peeled back. Again, on uh, radar, we're seeing those light snow showers in our northern counties starting to dissipate, though, as that upper level energy is swinging through. On Predictor, you can see it really falls apart by the time we hit this evening. Still, though, seeing that breezy wind thanks to high pressure moving in from the west, squeezing the air over the Susquehanna Valley. So, a breezy, windy night for us overnight tonight with those wind chills going to minus 10 to minus 15 degrees. You want to bundle up through the overnight. And then as we head into tomorrow, the winds relax just a little bit by the time we hit tomorrow evening. Now, as we go into Saturday, we're tracking yet another system. And it's another one of these clippers, but there is even colder air back behind this system as it finally swings through by the time we hit around uh, to midday on Saturday. We'll see those snow showers working their way through. And this will be pretty similar to what we see in the summer on a leading edge of a cold front, uh, some heavier showers. But this will be in the form of some snow. We could be talking about some snow squalls, sun. Uh, Saturday afternoon. So, again, it is Valentine's Day. If you have some of those evening plans, you want to keep that in mind. Uh, but as we go even into uh, Sunday, those temperatures cool down even more. Watch what happens 30 degrees for the high on Saturday, Valentine's Day. And then heading into our Sunday forecast, 16 degrees for the high. Wind chills Sunday morning could be in the ballpark of minus 20. Can't rule that out uh, completely. But by the time we hit President's Day, the winds relax a little bit. We are tracking our next storm system for Tuesday and Wednesday. That could bring us another chance for some snow or a bit of a Wintry mix. We'll keep our eye on it and bring you the latest as it becomes available to us. Back